in homeopathy we learn, we learn that each organism has its own severity of state. That means headache one person, headache the other person. In this headache, which looks similar with his headache, is much more easy to cure than his headache. That means there is a depth on this headache and not a depth on that headache. That means that this headache will be cured without almost any perceptible aggravation. His headache, which is of a deeper kind, is going to have a tremendous aggravation. At this point, we have to be very clear. Because when we explain homeopathy, we have to explain it in this way that makes sense. To the patient, to ourselves, to understand what we are doing, and this understanding its useful for later on when you evaluate a case, what has happened, shall I give another remedy, shall I wait, what is this, what is that? Do I give a remedy for one symptom? I mean, these questions are going to be solved if you understand very clearly the mechanism of cure. Who is more sick? A person with a heart problem, a person with a liver problem, a person with lung problem, a person with skin problem, and previously to that understanding, your answer could be immediate, you know, ah, oh, yes, the person who has skin problems is better. Not always. We have weak spots, weak predispositions in different levels. Now, which of these spots is going to be activated? Potentially, that means potentially we are going to suffer with this or with this or with this or with that disease. Potentially. Now we get a stress. We get antibiotics, we get a stress, we lost our... Uh, uh, parents, we lost our children, we lost whatever, we are in big grief. Which of these spots is going to be activated? It might be activated, a spot which is quite deep. That means the organism jumps up very fast. The levels of predisposition, the lower level, and goes right deep. That, that means the grief was so much that almost killed the organism. Almost killed the organism. So it can go very fast to the heart. In the same way as the physical body is structured on this a hierarchy level, in the same way, the emotional body is also structured with systems and organs. We have systems and organs which dealing with the different emotions. So, if we go on the emotional level, we see that from suicidal depression, where people just commit suicide and finish, we come down to, uh, to apathy state, eh? to indifference, and then sadness, where people many times they confuse depression with suicidal. Suicidal depression is when you jump, finish. <coughs> there is no way out of the depression, and that's why you jump. Number four, five, and six level, then in this group, of diseases we observe acute are becoming frequent and more severe. We have to be very careful in evaluating what is going on when an acute comes. In this group, the meaning of an acute, the evaluation of an acute, 
has a totally different meaning than an acute in number three or four group. Totally different. The evaluation is totally different. The moment you hear that I was having frequent calls, etc., acute, and since one year, since eight months, since two years, I don't get so frequently, calculate from that time the organism has gone down to level three. Pathology is more strong and you are going to have a difficulty in treating such cases. It's not going to be an easy case. So therefore, this idea, I will know the remedy if I know the miasm, is a wrong conception. Max Vomica, you remember, irritable and impatient, irritable and impatient. And especially when they get tired, especially when they are confronted with a lot of vicious, Max Vomicas, they can just break the table or break the, uh, the this one here you can go down and break it the telephone it will go like this it's exactly like that exactly like that times has happened that the secretary because you are many times late eh? Because you had a difficult case before, you couldn't calculate the time, and he is late. And then it comes like this, five minutes, yeah, five minutes, okay. Ten minutes? <laughs> Fifteen minutes. He jumped. Goes to the secretary and says, listen, is the doctor going to take me, yes or no? I had an appointment at four o'clock, it's quarter past four. <laughs> We have stramonium when we have some type of aggression. Aggression. Um, it is uh, very seldom uh, that uh, um, stramonium will be indicated where there is no aggression, there is no violence. And when I say violence, I mean in the appearance of the symptoms as well. Eh? So salmonium is a remedy which can express that which is inside, which is on the subconscious, and can express it in a violent manner, in a violent way we realize that these persons, they have kept inside them a lot of darkness, a lot of dark element, what we say, the dark element. It's a heavy darkness. And it is uh, uh, indicative that they cannot stand external darkness. If you have a stramonium and you sleep in a dormitory and you switch off the light in the night even if he is asleep he will wake up in a terror and will jump to open the lights it's so much the fear of darkness which um, which indicates indicates the condition in which the person is living. Eh? Yet, in spite of this description which I make, you may imagine somebody who comes in front of you and he's violent. No. 
They are very controlled and very nice and can be very sweet when they are in the consultation room. But then they will say from time to time or when time comes, the fit comes, the anger comes, the violence comes and the violence is hitting, striking and killing. The desire is it's not the desire only to kill, they kill. They have to complete the action of violence. <laughs> Hayosiamos, who is a similar remedy, has the desire to kill, it's very interesting because I could not understand desire to kill and kill and what is, what is the difference? There is a difference where the Hayosiamos will tell you I, I have the desire to kill constantly, to kill, whom to kill? Anybody, everybody, <laughs> but they never, well, not never, you never know <laughs> because uh, uh, but they do not uh, go ahead and detonate their anger by doing some very violent thing. Well, Stramonium will, will really will take a knife and will just charge and hit and, uh, and, and, and then you see the aggression and then they hit children, they hit the mothers, the fathers, they will uh, uh, attack their tremendously uh, uh, aggressive and violent in their feet of anger. <laughs>